peace and grace to each and every one of you, my dear friends of St. Francis. I pray for you that on this day all of you are doing well. Have you noticed that it is still dark at 7 o'clock in the morning? Of course you have. I've noticed it. We all have. As a matter of fact, Daylight's Savings Time will end this coming Sunday on November 1, and we will set our clocks back one hour, giving us just a little more daylight in the mornings. Yes, there are so many different ways by which we mark time. Nature helps us to see and mark time by the changing of the color of leaves and all of the acorns that have fallen under the oak trees. As a nation, we mark time because every four years we hold a national election and we elect a president. In our community at St. Francis, we mark time by entering into stewardship season this time of year. And my dear friends, I know that some of you are marking time as you have entered into deep prayer for family members and friends, loved ones, those who are in need of much prayer, of healing, of support, of comfort. Yes, I ask the question, how do you find yourself marking time today? Do you find yourself marking time characterized by fear, anxiety, stress, worry? Or are you marking these days with a sense of hope, a sense of calm, a sense of quietude? Or let me ask the question slightly different. How do you desire to mark these days, this time. Do you know that in all of life and in every moment that Christ is in us, Christ is with us, Christ is around us, and that makes all of the difference? Yes, these are stressful times. And all of us are coping the best we can to mark the time here and now the best we can. But my dear friends, in the midst of it all, let us enter into time and space with Christ. And let us experience his peace. And may that make a difference for all of us here and now.